got a posse out here, Cobb. There's no escape. Not alive, anyway. You'll never take me alive, lawman! Doesn't have to be this way. Just get out here. That was an unarmed man you just shot. That was an unarmed killer. Why did you deputize me if you have to have it your way in the end? United States. No electricity, no energy, no power. I'm told that my great-grandfather predicted such a day where you cannot find a single automobile driving in the streets, but where Europe is flourishing in alternative energy and new technology. We are taught in our makeshift schools what computers were. You can find televisions and refrigerators and cars everywhere, but they do not serve their original purpose. They are now shelters for the most fortunate. Our town is supposed to be the exception in this mess of despair, a gambling town founded by and for those who find a means of having a new fortune, a word redefined every day. Crime and corruption still exist, and I try my best to remedy that. Brandon, don't be a stranger at the saloon! Actually, Will, I'm quite disturbed. Well, did the thief get away? No. But before Sheriff Calhoun murdered him, the thief turned killer just outside of town. Calhoun murdered him? Unnecessarily, too. Well, he did kill, too. So it looks like he wasn't just targeting the uh, riches of our little town's guests. Riches that should be protected by our good sheriff. Will. Think about this place. You've developed a perfect resort, a vacation resort, for people who are fortunate enough to be successful in this insane rush for the riches. When you think about the rest of the majority of this, the country, if you can even call it a country, this place is truly paradise. But ever since you hired Ray Calhoun to be the law around here, things have been going down. It's the very fact I want to talk to you about, see? Herb Williams was in town the other day. The crazy guy? Who sits in front of his blank television screen? Thinks that he watches programming and actually enjoys what he's watching? The very one. See, he, he came into the saloon about a day or so ago and said that Sheriff Calhoun was robbing the very people that he's paid to protect. Sadly, that doesn't sound that insane. Sheriff Calhoun's back in town. Uh, darn, keep it down. Why the hell wouldn't he come back in town? 
Look, you told us about your suspicions that, he, that Sheriff Calhoun was robbing people, so why don't you let us handle this and you stay out of trouble? Will, I'm gonna head back to the cabin before the uh, meeting you're holding tomorrow. I know it's an important town meeting, so I'll check in, check in with you in the morning, all right? Have a good day. Just saying. Lucky I got Brandon wrapped around my finger. Oh, come on. I would have figured something out. I could take care of myself, you know. How'd you even get caught? It should have been easy. I told you exactly where the family told me their bonanza would be. They left the room. It should have been easy. Calm down. We're still on for tomorrow's little bash. You bet. I'm liking Mayor McKenzie less and less every minute. You could count on me. Hey, wasn't I a good show? <laughs> oh, man. This town, dear citizens, is declining. We all have to do our best to make sure that our guests stay is more pleasurable and enjoyable. Yet we've had an increase in crime in our town. I call it our town because it is our town, all of ours. And we all take pride in it. We've overcome great difficulties in the past decades. And some things have been brought to my attention that need to be done to clean up this town once again. By next week's town meeting, I plan to have an entirely new attitude and a whole new plan for our town. There he is, there's the sheriff. Excuse me, sir. Uh, of course, the sheriff is here. He keeps us all safe in paradise. Mayor, please continue. I thank you, Herb, for your introduction. But this day is all about the mayor in Paradise, New Jersey. Thank you, Sheriff. Anyway, folks, I uh, was hoping to introduce you to somebody who seems to have been delayed today. It's a, a good friend of mine who you probably already know. Well, let me introduce you, Mayor McKenzie, to a friend of mine. You're still alive. I thought you were killed yesterday. I have lots of lives. Too bad your one life is almost over. You'll not get away with this. Sheriff, stop this man right now! That no good son of a no good son of a what, Mayor McKenzie? Oh, so I'm not the sheriff anymore. We're back to a lawless town. <laughs> the new sheriff will teach you to mock the mayor. I think I could guess who you had in mind. <laughs> I'm pretty bright, you know. And unless he's a wizard or a magician, this horse won't be too helpful to Brandon. See that? My deputy in crime, Cobb here, is a faithful boy, ain't he? Well, nobody do nothing! Cobb, you better do something! Brandon! 